Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Your humble host Picasso here. Thanks for joining in. And today, guys, just a quick little video. As you see here, I am wearing my LG G Watch. It's one of the first watches to uh, get the update to the uh, to Android 5.1.1. There's just a quick rundown of Android 5.1.1 on my LG G Watch. So let's go ahead and zoom in here so we can uh, see exactly what's going on here. Okay, so here we go, LG G Watch. Uh, we just have a regular little face there. Now I'm going to go ahead and tap it. Uh, one thing that I couldn't wait to get uh, the update for is this lighten the watch, and I can go like that. There you see, we have a notification. So it is that. <coughs> That's right, that flick of the wrist. And go ahead and flick it again. Oh, it timed out. Let's bring it back up. Flick it again. Let's flick. Flick. There we go. Okay, flick. Flick. Now, the thing that I didn't realize with the flick is that it also flicks down. So, you got to be careful. Oh, so it seems there was a little bit of lag. Okay, so if you flick. Basically, if you flick down. Uh, down. It's gonna go down so you can scroll um, you know doing it this angle it's it's kind of weird but so basically flick 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 so you can just easily go through your notifications now I was actually at Walmart a couple of minutes ago uh, today is the princess's birthday my lovely daughter happy birthday princess shout out in the video and I was doing this uh, just standing up waiting for my wife to come out of uh, Walmart and people were just passing and staring at me <laughs> and you know I didn't really care because this was pretty cool I love this it's awesome you don't have to touch anymore you can just scroll uh, you can't it doesn't flick like you know sideways or anything like that so that won't work so uh, flicking through notifications very cool so you can do that and then you can bring it all the way down uh, just tapping on the screen is gonna go up and bring up your app drawer so that's pretty cool and you can cycle through your applications very cool now you saw at the top here where was that is it gonna come back okay let's close it and then let's tap go back in at the top there you see those little icons well there's three pages it's letting you know it's three dots okay so scrolling to the right will bring up your contacts Let's see if we can flick through the contacts. Nope, can't flick through the contacts, okay. But you do have your contacts there, that's very cool. Very, very cool. Alright, and then flicking again will bring up to the uh, speak now, and send a text, uh, agenda, and so forth. So, uh, pretty straightforward there. But I really like that. Let's go ahead and look at the drop down. So the notification shade has changed, of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a comparison of the notification shade. Okay, so this is um, Android 5, you know, 5.0.2, and on the left here, the LG G Watch, it is 5.1.1. So as you see, you can see the uh, difference, the changes, which is pretty cool. Theater mode, it's got you know, new icon, um, the brightness brightness level on the left sunlight mode and settings and settings there let's go into the settings let's take a quick look so settings basically the same here um, let's go to about and let's go to about on this one as well so we can see that that's 5.0.2 I'm gonna to touch for the version here 5.1.1 as you see there awesome Awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look through the settings because there might be something different there. Um, change watch face font size. So font size I think is new. I'm sure it's new. Wrist gestures on which is the flick. So that's on. Uh, Bluetooth devices always screen on. I really never have it on because that just drains the battery. Then we have airplane mode which is off accessibility. Screen lock off. So you can put a screen lock on your watch I'm assuming let's go ahead and put it on and you can draw the pattern on lock I'm just gonna do something very simple pattern recorded draw a pattern again to confirm there we go and screen lock is automatic it's on okay 
So let's get out of this now. Let's go ahead and palm it. And let's see the lock. I'm going to go ahead and tap it to open. And uh, it opened, but where's the lock? Okay, maybe I'm doing it wrong. I'm not sure. Let's close it. Close it. Okay. Now, again, I probably don't know what I'm doing, but... Okay, so it's not there. I don't see the screen lock. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just take off the screen lock uh, because, again, I don't know what I'm doing with it. Um, let's, let's, so I'm going to take the, oh, it says lock screen now. So if I lock the screen, there we go. So now I've gone ahead and I've locked the screen. All right, let's go ahead and tap. There we go. So the screen's locked. Uh, you can't see the time. Don't really know why you would lock the watch, but uh, yeah, if you wanted to lock it, there you go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take that off. Okay, so as you see here, you can't flick it here because you're in an application. We're in the settings application, but you do get that card style. Okay, so uh, just like on your Android device, anything you're using, you have the cards option there. So that's pretty cool. And as you see there, it just faded away. So let me just go ahead and... Uh, take off, turn off the lock. Yes, I want to. Let's, oops, wrong one. Let's put on the pattern. There we go. It's unlocked. Oh, no, no, no factory set. Um, yeah, so there you have it. Just a quick little look at the Android 5.1.1 update for the LG G Watch. I can't wait to get it on my Moto 360 since that is the device I use mostly. But I love Android Wear, I love all Android Wear devices. And just a quick little preview, uh, this is a nice little watch face. Um, the name showed up a couple of times, I don't remember offhand, but uh, yeah. I'll put the link down to this watch face in the description if you are interested. And thanks for watching guys, just a quick little video on Android Wear and the updates to uh, Android Lollipop 5.1.1. Okay, hope you enjoyed. If you do, leave a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Your humble host, Picasso, here. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. I'm out.